Now, just one month away from the total solar eclipse here in Arkansas. For a month, we've told you how some of the smaller cities are preparing for the influx of travelers, but we haven't touched on Little Rock's plans. Yeah, it is until tonight. All new at 10, THV 11's Ashley Godwin shows us how the capital city's plans to make this an out-of-the-world experience. It's incredibly possible that this is going to be the largest tourism event in Little Rock's history. It's anticipated that thousands will be coming to Arkansas for the solar eclipse on April 8th. Little Rock is one of many cities preparing for the influx. We're certain that if you're a visitor to the city of Little Rock or if you live in the city of Little Rock, you'll have an amazing opportunity to watch this event. The Little Rock Visitors and Convention Bureau and the city are partnering to make this the best experience possible. There are pre-eclipse events leading up to the historic day at SOMA, Arkansas Museum of Fine Arts, and the Museum of Discovery. Then on the big day, there will be several watch parties and the opportunity for live music. We're going to have world-renowned Pink Floyd tribute band The Machine. And what they're going to do is perform that morning leading up to totality. Take a 20 minute break so you can enjoy what's going on in silence. And then they're going to perform for another hour after that. We're preparing watch parties in a box that are going to include glasses, um, you know, snack treats like Eclipse gum and Capri Suns and uh, moon pies. And if you haven't figured out your plans yet, you still have time. We've got plenty of rooms and Little Rock is ready to welcome people here for the eclipse. Mayor Scott is also going to declare a state of emergency during the eclipse. I'm told it's to allow campers in the city parks if necessary. Back to you. Ashley, thank you. Volunteers are still needed at eclipse events. To see a full list of those events and how to help, you can go to THV11.com.